Hey everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today, I am doing another Patreon PSA reveal. We had a couple more Patreon submit cards through me. If you are not familiar with how I submit on behalf of others, if you are a Patreon, I will submit cards to PSA on your behalf at no additional charge. So if you're a Patreon member and it costs 18 bucks, 30 bucks, 50 bucks to submit a card, I will submit it for you, handle all the paperwork, handle the shipping out there, and I will do that free of charge. It is something I only do for Patreons. If you are interested in that, go check out my Patreon link in the description below so you can see how to join Patreon. That's also how you get into my breaks. That's also how you get Discord community access, monthly break credits, so much more. I encourage you to check it out. So on this one, we had six total cards submitted. Ian M and Chris Day had cards that were submitted in this submission, and I have a couple of my own. So without further ado, let's jump right in. And I kind of already undid all the packaging here a little bit. So we'll see what we can get. All right. All right, so it looks like my card... One of my cards is one of the first ones in here. It is Sedania Raffaella. And it is a first edition yellow numbered 33 out of 55 from 2022 Bowman first edition. And we get a mint nine. So we get a nine. Would have liked a 10. But again, these foil cards very difficult i like that it's a first edition obviously a prospecting card right here so he if he ends up being great fantastic if he ends up not being great not so fantastic but a yellow to 75 got it slabbed i'm okay with the nine would have loved a 10 but we live we learn all right so this card this is a fun one this is the spencer torkelson from 2022 bowman sterling this is the sterling tender autograph it is numbered 15 out of 99. This card we pulled in a break. Chris Day pulled it. And then we said, hey, we could get this graded. And it was Steel City DW, who was another patron that said, I'm going to pay for the grading on his behalf. So Chris is getting this card. Thank you to Steel City for ponying up on the grading cost, which at the time, these were for 50 Awesome card to get graded. It is a 15 out of 99 Bowman Sterling from 2021. It's the Sterling Tender Autograph. And we get a gem mint 10. Sweet, beautiful card, beautiful on card auto. And we get the 10. That is awesome. So the Spencer Torkelson comes in at the 10. All right, our next card. This one is going to be for Ian McIntyre. This is a Jesus Sanchez. This is 2021 Topps Chrome. It's the Jesus Sanchez rookie card. He's kind of been up and down this season. Has a lot of promise. This is the blue refractor. It's going to be numbered 19 out of 150. And this card comes in. Ooh, at a near mint eight. Now, when I look at this card, I believe some of it is because of the centering, but I would have to put it under the microscope. We might have a little bit of a dot down here, a little disappointed in the eight, but we still do have a blue on-card auto Jesus Sanchez. So I'll put the pop obviously in the description. So we'll see what we'll see what happens there but a little bummer bummed on the eight that's the first eight we've had in a long time ian sorry about that one all right here we go our next one this is one that i submitted this is a blue foil khalil watson again from bowman first edition 2022 so the sky blue foil they are not numbered but it is you get one of these per pack it's the khalil watson Bowman first edition comes in at a gem mint 10. I will take that all day long. That is what I like to see, especially from a first edition card. I'm a big fan of Bowman first edition. Wish they would chromium versus the uh, foil 
But I think that the foils, because they're foil and they're harder to gem up, I think that long term those are going to be worth valuable, especially as tens. All right, so our next card, another one from me. This is Yoneski or, or Joan Kensi Noel. This is another blue foil, first Bowman from 2022 Bowman First Edition. And this one comes in at a mint nine. So again, like I said, they're hard. Some of them are very hard to gem up. Um, especially on these foils, any sort of cracking, whatever. It just happens to be that way. And so it's tough to do it. So I'll take the nine. Again, prospecting here. Rafaela, Watson, Noel, all prospects. Could be great cards down the road. Could not be. It happens. Now, our final card of the submission, the iconic Vladimir Guerrero Jr. No number. This one was submitted by Ian. A tough card to get in a 10 these days. Let's see if we can get it for him. We've got the 2019 Vladimir Guerrero missing card number. And we get the Mint 9. I love that there's no card number up there. It's like one of my favorites. So from 2019 tops, we get the Mint 9. It is from Series 2, by the way. Uh, again, because this card has been graded so much over the years, uh, Mint 9, It's it's got so many examples that I do believe that they throttle the 10s a little bit. So a 9, still a great card of one of the best players in baseball. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., I believe he's going to go on to have a great career. So even at a 9, it's a great card to have in the collection. So Ian, congrats on that one. Want to say congrats to Chris and Ian, and thank you both for submitting cards. Hope you like the grades that you got. And like I said before at the beginning of the video, if you are interested in having me send cards on your behalf at no additional cost, you got to be a Patreon member. You can join for as little as two bucks a month. And then if you go up in tiers, there's a lot of different benefits that start coming your way. So I encourage you to check it out. And until next time, guys, I hope as you're out there in the wild, you have great luck on your pack poles, finding the stuff that you want to rip. And as always, take care of your family, take care of your friends, take care of your neighbors, and most importantly, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching.